uh, I guess you should have watched it. The um, reason for taking time to do that really has to do with um, uh, developing your ability to understand um, general wave concepts. So uh, oscillations and waves are that um, at the sweet spot where um, it uh, where you need to be able to juggle between having formulas and mathematical expressions memorized and just uh, applying it and having a sort of conceptual um, broader understanding. And question four is a kind of a good example of that where having that uh, broader understanding is necessary because otherwise you look at this question and it's, uh, um, it, it, you know, it, it's totally understandable if, uh, uh, it, if uh, it doesn't make sense what it's talking about. Like uh, y of x is equal to this uh, function, like what is it talking about? I thought waves were sine and cosine stuff. And this is where if you had taken time to go through the, the waves introduction, then you'll recognize this as that arbitrary function that uh, we are describing waves as. Uh, so what that function is describing is a kind of a bump that you can describe arbitrary waves as. Well, it's not really. Um, well, actually I think it's close. Um, at, uh, centered around x equals zero meters. And this kind of generic description uh, makes a lot more sense if uh, that's the place you start from. Uh, if you have, if, when you skip that, that's when uh, questions like this can get confusing. So when he talks about, for example, amplitude of the pulse, it's really talking about the amplitude in a general sense, not amplitude in the sense of, um, what is the coefficient that comes in front of the, what is the coefficient that comes in front of the uh, sine and cosine functions? It's just talking about, well, amplitude, what is the size of the pulse? That's what it's talking about. Then once you understand that, then it's relatively easy to uh, look at this expression here and recognize that in addition to the fact that the question statement says it's centered around x equals zero meters. You, looking at this function itself, you can see that when you plug in x equals zero, that that's where this function y of x is at a maximum. Because x equals zero in the x here, it minimizes the denominator, so it maximizes the whole thing. So when you plug it in, y at x equals zero is equal to seven over two meters, and that should be answered here. Uh, plug it in as 3.5. And when it asks, where is the pulse centered at time t equals five seconds, um, you go back to, oh, it's moving at speed of 3.6 meters per second in the positive x direction. So you plug in, um, so you calculate the distance uh, distance is speed times time or speed of 3.6 meters per second times the time of five seconds. So the, this center here should have moved by a distance of, uh, um, I think 18 meters. Um, yeah, um, should have moved by a distance of 18 meters. So you say pulse is, uh, is centered at time t equals five seconds at uh, x equals 18 meters. And so this type of thing, um, hopefully, you know, as you're reading the question, it uh, made sense, then great. Uh, you're starting out from good place. Now, if for some reason it didn't make sense, this is what you are missing. Uh, don't skip that. Go, I mean, you know, it, the lecture videos, they are long. Um, when I redo them in the future, I'll probably find a way to shorten it. But th that conceptual understanding, it, it's uh, still important. It, um, you know, it was important when we were doing problem solving with a standard strategy. There, there was no formula for you to really memorize. With the waves, there will be more of the formulas and mathematical forms to memorize. But that doesn't mean that 
um, that kind of first principles, uh, fundamental understanding is any less important.